So I have decided that I'm gonna do a budget Home Depot pond because I want to set up a mini pond and what better place to get everything than Home Depot. Here's the challenge to actually get this clip without the music. But here's the challenge. Budget is $20 or less. Challenge, the challenge is finding everything in Home Depot to make an entire mini pond. But I figured this way here, you guys can do it too. The first step is finding concrete, um, which I'll explain in a second, but it's on the complete opposite side of the store. We're gonna use what any sane person would use on a budget and use a concrete mixing tub because this thing is like 15, 20 gallons. It's only $7, so we're staying within budget. That gives us enough money for the rest of the stuff. And I have some ideas, so that's the first thing. Okay, found the rocks. We need a budget. Six dollars for a bag isn't gonna work. Here we go. This is the cheapest I think I can find. Four sixty-eight for this big bag. Okay. Nothing better than some gravel. Okay, so four sixty-eight plus seven sixty-eight is like twelve. Like. 36 so we have like less than eight dollars i'm not doing tax included okay i'm sorry i'm thinking we have the rocks right we have we have the pond we have the rock i'm thinking to build something inside of it to give it more flavor we go with the red or the gray i think either one will work oh we have gray we have red i'm going with gray yeah it's gonna be six cents more per brick but it's just what we have to do let's do Oh my god, there's so much dust on this. Look at me. Dust me off. Clean me. You left all the dust. Thank you. Thank you. I think in one, two. Kind of cute, but I'm sorry. You have to go. Okay, bye. What else do you need in a pond? Water. <laughs> Plants. <laughs> Do you think it'd be crazy to take some of the, the broken cement for the pond? Because it'd look good with the gray bricks. Well, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. I'm thinking it's $3.98, which is in our budget. Technically, we could almost get two of them. But I need to find the most voluptuous one. That's, that's lame. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna look around a little bit more and see if I can find something that has more volume to it. Because I want it to have some shade so that everything that's in it, it doesn't get too hot and there's some shade for whatever's in it. It's definitely bigger, it's $10, so it would go a little over our budget, but I'm just imagining discount plant. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll give you $5 if you want that one. So maybe for this challenge, if you guys wanna do it, ask to borrow ask to borrow $5 from someone so you can get the right plant. I'm gonna go in the greenhouse area and see if I can find something. It's just gonna be what it is. We tried. We tried to get $20, but it has to look good too. So I think we're gonna go with this. What else do you have to scan? The bricks. They don't have barcodes. Well, it's under $25. All right, so we just changed the rules a little. It okay. went up. <laughs> oh, I was like, it went down. <laughs> it went up with taxes. But I told you, taxes don't count. Well, apparently I can't do math because the total is $26 and I thought I had six dollars more to spend turns out i only had three dollars more to spend so that wasn't gonna get me much but uh it's okay we're getting it done he is stuck in my pocket it is hot please 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 and i have to set this up outside <laughs> All right, we're back. It's time to set up the pond. And I can't figure out where to put it yet because I'm thinking about putting it under this tree. 
but also the needles are gonna fall into it. It might make it really messy. I'm also thinking about putting a bigger pond there, so I don't know about that. I'm thinking somewhere over there I'm gonna do it, alongside the house, this way here, the shade. It's only gonna get some sunlight because there's tall bushes and then a house, so it's only gonna get sunlight for a couple hours a day, so it won't overheat for anything. That's what we're gonna do. Small black mixing tub unit. Yep, it's the right one. Are you surprised I didn't scan it as a tomato? No, because I don't have tomatoes at home deep. First step is rinsing these rocks because these are dirty. Oh, I'm stepping on it. Oh my god. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I didn't. Babe, I swear to god. I don't know how that just happened. It was literally locked in everything. What are you doing? Hot. <laughs> Please. I need my own pond. No, 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 no. I need to set this up and not be soaking, but stop. <laughs> Although it does feel really good. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that. Well, you, we lost the footage of you rinsing that. No, no! That's it. Don't, no! <laughs> Why did you lose the footage? So basically, I took the tub and I said, here's the tub. I took the rock! Two different colors. Yeah, these are literally- Oh, there's a giant rock in here. Or something. In the bag. Just a clump. <laughs> I don't know. That is so much dirt. Oh my god. <gasps> you! <laughs> you know that was not the right setting. Is this all dirt? I was ripped off. As you can see, this rock is completely different than that rock. So, I have a lot of rinsing to do. Alright, uh, cue the time lapse of me rinsing all these rocks. This is gonna take forever because I don't want a muddy pond. Rinsing rocks is not for the weak because why is this still dirty? Why? Why? Don't. <laughs> Stop. Or I'll just. No, no, no. I have a hose and props. Okay, let's just call a truce. Come on. I'm oh. just I'm oh, sorry. I didn't like it. Hey! I'm kidding. <laughs> I guess you should have put a piece of mesh in your budget. You think? I think the rocks are clear enough now. Okay. So this is where I'm putting it. So I'm thinking it's gonna go back here because if I still have the clips, I'll insert them. But there's a lot of wildlife that just comes through here. Between, oh, there's literally a rabbit right there. So oh, what sound do you need to call a rabbit? Rabbit, oh. rabbit. Why did that work? Rabbit, something. Anyway, there's a lot of wildlife that comes through here, like birds, rabbits. There's a lot of frogs as well. I don't have any pictures of them. So I'm thinking that if I put it over here, it'll kind of be like a wildlife pond until I figure out what I want to do with it. Comment down below what do you think I should do with it. It's 15 to 20 gallons, I can't remember. There could be a couple of things that go in it, but it is going to be a small pond. This right here provides a bunch of shade, and then it's also right along the house, along the garage. So it's not really going to get much sunlight. And also if I add something into it that needs like more shade, I can always build like a little canopy over it and that'll keep it cool. Comment down below what you guys think I should put in it. But in the meantime, the wildlife's gonna enjoy it and hopefully I can get some footage of them enjoying it. You're gonna break those? I have to break one. To, I have a plan. I have a plan. So you can use one brick into two. We're gonna drop it and see what happens. That didn't do anything. It's just gonna make it go into pieces, isn't it? Okay, Maybe try. if I drop it on its, like this. All right, that's not working. It's just gonna have to be a whole brick. This is what we have to work with. So let's make it work. I think this is enough gravel. I'm gonna just move it out of the corner for now. I ripped my pants, by the way. <laughs> what? What do you mean you ripped your pants? <laughs> what do you mean you ripped your pants? I've done it too, to be fair. I've done it in public. So <laughs> anyway, okay. Because I didn't buy something to rinse the rocks, there's gonna be some dirt in here, but it's okay. It'll just kind of fill in the gaps between the rocks and just make it better. So that's what I'm going with. So my plan with the bricks is to kind of build like a wall if I can do it easy enough. I think I'm gonna need more rocks clean because I did not plan for this. So I'm gonna put some rocks behind and I'm kind of just gonna sprinkle them along to kind of fill in the gaps. I don't really like how this looks right now, so I'm gonna play with it a little bit and see if I can get it looking a little better. My plan though is to add more plants because that's just not enough, but for the budget challenge, it works. It's time for my secret weapon to make this pond really pop. You've probably seen it in the background throughout this whole video. So comment down below what you think it is. Let's see how many of you get it right. I'm gonna give you five seconds, okay? One, 
five. I'm just kidding. It's mulch, okay? We're using mulch to make this pond pop. I think it's gonna really make it pop because it's gonna kind of smooth out the area around the pond since it's kind of just dirt and weeds right now. Maybe I can add something to this area, but there's plenty of backyard space. Now it is time to open up this bag of mulch. I don't know what is probably living in here because they have been sitting here for a while. It doesn't count in the budget because for me it was free, but you can use dirt and it'll look better as well. There's one more thing that I have to find after this mulch. You're gonna have to go with me. Over here. The other thing I wanted to get is some wood. There's a ton of trees back here, branches that have already fallen. So I'm just gonna look through and just try to find a couple. Just like Mr. Krabs with the secret recipe, I'm gonna finish off this pond with a few finishing touches and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Wait. What? You forgot something. What? <gasps> you took it. You took a piece of. You took a piece of Home Depot. We need a special place for this. I'll put it right here. Well, that is our pond. I don't know what to put in our pond, so I need your guys' help. You can either comment on Instagram, TikTok, or right here on this video, and let me know what you guys want to see in this pond. And hopefully, over the next couple days, I'll see some wildlife enjoying this small pond. In the meantime, while I figure out what I want to put in it, this was a really fun video to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.